Here comes the danger up in this club When we get started, man, we ain't gonna stop We gon' turn it out till it gets too hot Everybody sing, hey, yo Tell them turn it out till they can't no more Let's get this thing shaking like a disco ball This is your last one and a courtesy call Everybody sing, hey, yo What's up, y'all? I'm coming back with a another part to what if Naruto was the son of Satan. So yeah, and I'm sorry if I've been gone for a little bit. I just haven't really been feeling it. While at the same time, there are some ideas I did have, but I wanted to change it to make it sound more cool. So yeah, that took a minute to do. So just keep in mind. I've already posted like almost every single day last week, so I was kind of burnt out a bit. And at the same time, I couldn't really think of anything, so yeah. But I'm back, and for me going for so long, I'm just going to double upload. So yeah. This, what it should be a bit longer. I'm sorry for the other ones being like maybe. Five to maybe five to ten minutes long at each, and I know that's pretty short considering the ones I be doing. But I'm gonna try to make this one a little bit longer. So yeah, I've been rambling long enough. Let's get on into the what if. Naruto was stunned upon words, finding out that the woman who raised him for nearly fifteen years was not his mom. This was too much for him to take in, but. If I'm the offspring of Satan, then how can he impregnate my mother? Surely the demon world and the human world can't interact, right? Naruto asks. Hold up. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was talking to somebody, so yeah. I'm just going to continue it off. Kurumi, I think this is your department. Kushner asked. Uh, that's it, I should say. It is. You see, in this world, there are three d dimensions. Yeah, three dimensions that I'm going to make up off the top of my head right now. So, if I just come up with some random names, please don't get mad. The first is the human world you live in. The elemental nations and a few others that are also known as... I gotta think of a name. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Isaiah. That's a pretty good name, I guess. Isaiah. And the next is where I come from with. My other tail B siblings, Maki and Gina. That is the lowest level of hell. There is that is where true demons are, and your father Satan now travel between Maki and Azura as much as possible, and travel between Gaia and Maki was also possible. But travel between. Uh, Gina and Azura was not that possible. It was, however, broken when Satan broke through the barrier and managed to get into Azura, said Karuma. So, how did Satan and my mom get involved as Naruto? That was one person who chose to be possessed by Satan, and she fell pregnant with you and your twin sister. You inherited more of Satan's power than your sister because of, of that you were covered in flames. That sword you hold contains your power. Should you draw the sword, you will get your demonic powers back. And you will become a demon once again. And we will not, we will not be resealing your powers again, said Kurumi. 
But what about my sister? How how will I know she's my sister? Naruto asked. Well, each and every demon has a link to talk to each other. Think of it as telepathy, but only for demons. When two demons are close together, the telepathy grows stronger, and so does the bond for each other. Sibling demons have a stronger bond than other demons have. And seeing as to the fact that you mark Karomi here, I say you can communicate telepathically, said Kushner. Yeah, right, Naruto thought. I heard that, thought Karomi shocking Naruto. Now, when Saiyan broke through the barrier, there were too many people that died. Many died because of those treacherous flames. They called it the Blue Knight, said Kushina. So, what happens now, asked Naruto. For now, you go to bed. F we'll figure things out in the morning, said Kurumi. Sounds a bit weird, but can you sleep with him, asked Kushina. What, Naruto said now, backing away. Not that type of sleep. You only do that when you reach the age, said Kushner. And what age is that? asked Naruto. When you kill somebody, then they will make you a man, said Kushner. Got it, said Naruto as he and Kurumi walked to his room. Ugh, this is looking bad. I'm afraid he'll awaken his power and the power waken his power of Satan will be revealed to the world once more, said Kushner. In the past, when Kushina, Naruto's mother, and Minato were young, they always played around, and when they grew up, Minato and Kushina found out about Naruto's mother being pregnant, but there was no father. That when they found out it was that the father was Satan, vowing to keep her secret hidden from the world, they sought a way to keep her safe, but it all ended with the blue night happening. The elemental nations and possibly the whole world now knew about the son and the daughter of Satan being born on that night. Iruka and a small group of people only knew about the real son and daughter of Satan. And that the only person whom Kushina knew very well. Yeah, Getting up, she grabbed the phone and dialed a number. After a series of rings the person on the other end answered uh what's her name i can give this chick uh shauna yeah shauna why not hey shauna what's up asked kushina oh kushina it's been a while how's it hanging asked the person on the other end now known as shauna listen we we got a problem Asked Kushina. Oh, well, shoot. What's wrong? Asked Shauna. We may have accidentally let us slip, and now Naruto knows about being the son of Satan. Said Kushina. Well, damn. That doesn't look good. I'll come over as soon as possible. Said Shauna. Thanks a bunch. I'll have a six-pack ready for you when you get here. Said Kushina. Make it a 12-pack, and I'll be here. Be there tomorrow. Said Shauna. Deal. Kushina said. Cool, well, see you then, said Shauna as she hung up. This is not going to be good. Kushina just prayed that Naruto never draw the sword. The world will be in, will be sent into a very messed up situation should that happen as demons of all kind will emerge and come to him like a beacon. Now, time for the saucy action now. Up in Naruto's room, Kurumi was walking around while swinging her hips, trying to entice Naruto to to that extent. Can you stop that? Asked Naruto as he set his sword down his, by his bed. Sorry. Now that we're married now, so I have to tease you every now and then, said Kurumi as she pushed Naruto into the bed. M married? Naruto said. Yeah. The mark on my neck shows everyone that I belong to you. We are now married, said Kurumi, as she kissed Naruto on the cheek. Bet now. Think of what to do later, said Naruto as he got onto the bed. 
Man, what a way to turn a woman down, thought Kurumi as she climbed into the bed as well. I heard that, and Naruto shouted back. All right, all right, fine, fine. Just relax, Kurumi said as they both drifted off to sleep. Now, Naruto woke up to two things. One was the pounding headache, and the second thing was the weight on his chest. Looking down, he found his answer. Kurumi was snuggling on his chest and quietly snoring as she nestled his chest. Smiling at who fell in love with him and now carefully maneuvered out from under Kurumi, getting dressed in his usual clothing. And just to let you know, it's not that dumbass orange jumpsuit. Man, I I hate that. I hate that jumpsuit with a fucking passion. <sighs> anyway, he smelled cooking. Grabbing Kurikara, he walked out of his room. Walking downstairs, he saw Kurumi in the kitchen making breakfast. Morning, said Naruto. Morning, Naruto. Hope you're ready for today, said Kushina as she was flipping some eggs in the pan. Oh, I'm very ready. I've been trying to do my Shadow Clone Jutsu, but for some reason my chakra can't do it, said Naruto. Naruto, that's because you're demon blood. You, believe it or not, hold up, believe it or not, has more than one demonic power within you. One being your father's Satan power, and next is Kurumi. Her yokai and her yokai has mixed in with your power, and DNA has now make you a half demon," said Kushina. "So I'm a full. I'm now fully demon now," said Naruto. "To a certain degree here and there, but you're still half Prince of Hell. But you're also half King of." Maki, it truly is amazing to have two bloodlines in you, making your hair to both sides of the demon world," said Kushina as she dished up for her and Naruto. Uh, excuse me. Even though I'm not your son, you keep speaking of the fourth Hokage like you knew him. Did you know him? asked Naruto. He was my husband and part of the organization. We found to keep your mother safe, and you and your twin sister," said Kushina. "Really? What's this organization?" asked Naruto. "Well, we dubbed it the Sword. Well, at least that's what I'm dubbing it. Warriors will fight for what's right, while at the same time hunting demons down. And one of the members is coming here today. In fact, you should. She didn't finish. Where the front door exploded with a kick." Kicked up a lot of dust in the process. Kushina, where's the booze you promised? Came a voice from the hole where the door should be. Standing there was Shana and, and her beauty. Naruto took in the woman in front of him. And let's just say he liked what he saw. So, okay, I'm going to kind of describe what she was wearing. So... She was wearing a little jacket with the jacket remaining open and she wore some light blue shorts and some stockings and some uh, high heeled boots. Why not? And I'm going to give her purple and yellow hair. I'm going to have it tied up. And... Not only that, she was carrying. She's now carrying a d duffel bag. Yeah. So try to imagine that. Shana, is there something called knocking? Said Cushion in a sweet tone that promised pain. Shana smirked at Cushion and then turned her attention on to Naruto. She had to admit the kid knew how to dress to impress. <clears throat> Excuse me, real quick. So. Fish cake, you must be the spawn of Satan, said Shauna as Naruto spat out the drink he was drinking. Yeah, now can you not call me that? That would be nice, said Naruto. Fine, fish cake, said Shauna as she sat down on the table. Morning, came a voice 
from the stairs. The group turned and saw Chromie in her nightgown with bed hair. Her tails were bushed, bushed out as well. Yo, Chromie, long time no see, said Shauna. Oh, Shauna, it's good to see you again, said Chromie as she sat down at the table, sitting on the left side of Kushina. Wait, you two know each other? asked Naruto. Yeah, I knew her, but apparently Minato didn't know. Oh well, shit happens, said Shauna. You can say that again, said Chromie as he shivered at the idea of being sealed again. Thanks for the meal, Naruto said as he got up and walked out of the door. Any news from Makoto? asked Kushina. Not much. Last I heard, she fled the Uchiha state after the massacre, said Shauna. You think she helped Itachi? asked Kushina. Eh, I... I, I doubt it. She's always been a pacifist in the sword, said Shauna. Yeah, you're right. There is a bar a few blocks from here. You can get your booze there, said Kushina. Cool, said Shauna as she dumped her stuff and walked out. Ugh, I worry for her, said Kurumi. Same here, said Kushina. When Naruto got to his class, he saw Sasuke and his followers and that one girl. And so, yeah, he just saw people there. His, his, his group, his people. And truth be told, he didn't have a crush on her, but he liked hanging out with Hinata. I, I'm going to say that. Even helping her out, getting her out of her shell. And so, yeah, they began a little bit of small talk with another one when Sasuke noticed the cloth covering Naruto's sword. Uh, the cloth covered the sword on Naruto's back. Getting away from his fangirls, he walked up to Naruto. Oh, what's up, Sasuke? Uh, what's the cloth, he asked. Oh, it's a gift from Kushina. Said Naruto. What is it? A sword, Naruto said. Can I see it? Asked Sasuke. Why? Naruto asked. Well, it, it, it just looks it just looks cool. I mean look at it, it just looks cool. Uh no no can do. This sword is special and only I can wield it, said Naruto. Oh come on, what's the worst that could happen? Sasuke said as he tried to make a grab for the sword. Getting up and kicked him in the gut, Sasuke went sent flying into the wall. Okay, okay, I, I deserved it, Sasuke said as he passed out. Well, he shouldn't touch things that don't belong to him, replied Naruto. <sighs> and so with that being said, Aruka came into the classroom. Alright, alright y'all, settle down. And he looked at Sasuke like, What the hell just happened? And Naruto was like, oh, he was. Eh, we got into a bit of a scuffle. Naruto said, a scuffle. Iruka said, yeah, don't worry, he's fine, right, Sasuke? Naruto said, looking at Sasuke, and he's like, yep, I'm fine. Feeling his chest kicked in, he got up. He's like, okay, okay, it's it's your sword. Sasuke said as he sat back down into his chair. Alright. I guess we got that situated. We're going to do the graduation test now. It will be divided into three sections. Written, physical, and chakra. We'll be handing out papers now. Said Ruka as he walked out. Walked by the class handing out the papers. This is going to be a test where Naruto will either use the sword or not and so with that being said i'm going to end it right there so yeah leave a like comment down below and really thank y'all for giving me getting me up to over 700 subscribers thank you really i, I i'm thanking all of y'all like literally without y'all i wouldn't really have a platform so yeah Really, thank you. And so, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to give you a little bit of peep of what's going to happen in the next part. I'm going to do something with, let's just say I'm going to do something with 
Misaki. Yeah. And so, with that being said, I'm out. Peace.